deter crime and stop it in its tracks. That's what neighbors in OTR want. There's evidence of people doing drugs, but when shots were fired Monday evening, police were all over it. Nobody sided. You know, we, and we act surprised when, when, you know, things go wrong. The city says a barricade on Republic Street between Liberty and Green could be the solution. It's intended to make it harder for drug dealers to sell from their cars. Scotty Johnson is chair of the city council's public safety committee. I think swooping in and arresting everything, I don't think that solves the problem. It, ha it helps for that day, but we need a long-term solution to make sure this behavior is not repeated. City data shows OTR has seen a 21% drop in violent crime compared to last year at this time. Donaldson says he wishes that decrease would be reflected on the steps of the church. It is a drug problem, drug and mental illness, and what, what a lot of, so these folks are steady clients for the drug dealers. So we asked. If they're moved and pushed out, those that are doing the illicit behavior, they're just going to move somewhere else. Well, I've heard that too, but I think, unfor I think unfortunately for them, they're, they're, if they're caught uh, dealing drugs, they're t caught uh, doing things illegal, there's a penal system that will have some say so on where they go and how long they stay locked up to. Johnson says there will be more foot and bike patrols. He acknowledges it's a community problem that needs community input. Right now we're on top of it, we're aware of it as a council, and we're going to allow the experts, the Cincinnati police, to address it. Cincinnati police believe blocking Republic Street will help, but they're not yet saying when that'll happen. Until then, they say they're closely monitoring the situation. We will stay on top of this to see what this impact has. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you're always in the know.